No, no, no. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back here today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give my honest thoughts on how the project is being ran, and today I am the opposite of excited to be checking out Kenfire Council from Incredible Dreams Studio, who decided that they were going to try and spotlight next to nothing. Uh, so we do have Kevin Wilson, so I do like that on the main image. That's a, a big-time game designer. Don't know who the other person is looking at the box. Wow, it's a box with your name on it. No less, there's also your logo here with a fancy end. And then your name's here three times, so I feel like we get it. You can stop with the redundancy here, and I don't know, maybe put some useful information on your main image. Maybe showcase your components, or the fact that I'm pretty sure you have like a really interesting story storage solution. Maybe spotlighting the fact that this, I believe, has won some awards and is a pretty popular game. At least it does say two to six players here in the description, so I can't knock for them on that, even though I would put it on the main image, because no one cares you're funded in an hour, and no one cares you're a project you love on Kickstarter, because, like, project you love, project you love, project you love. How many, how many of these you got? Project you love. We have, like, five or six just on the first 12, okay? It's, it's a participation trophy at this point, it feels like, so I don't know if I'd really spotlight it. It's nice to have, but, eh, taking up that much space, especially when there's other stuff that could take up space... Yeah, I was a little bit late. Apologies on that. A competitive game of strategy and politics for two to six players set in the Kinfire universe designed by Kevin Wilson. So, I don't know what Kinfire is. Maybe if you're more excited about Kinfire, you're more excited. I think it's like a role-playing Dungeons and Dragons style thing. But, do you really need to tell me your name three times in the main description? I feel like that's a bit overkill, especially when there could be useful information here. Like, look at this. So bland. Oh, there was. There's two to six players, ages 14 plus, 90 to 120 minutes. It's just you made it so small, I couldn't actually read it at all. Let's go back now that I know that's there and see if I can actually read that. I don't think I can. Yeah, it just looks like blue. Just looks like blue symbols, blue squirrely squirrels. But man, I do know you're fun in one hour. That's way more valuable. Glad you made that larger. All right, as always with the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? And why the hell are people excited? Because you have not really let me know yet. Hopefully the video will. It's you. Third Thousands time. Thousands have flocked to Dinlux, seeking the protection of... Okay, so typically not a big fan of themes at the beginning of your video, especially if they're just straight theme and straight arts. However, since this is based off an already uh, popular thing... It's a little bit different. Because you also have to realize they're, they're, they're targeting their audience. And if you happen to be a part of that, you want to come along with the ride, great. But this is, I feel like we're going to be gung-ho on theme here. Fire Lighthouse. Now, the city is overcrowded and former enemies are forced to live side by side. It is up to you, members of the council, to lead us into a new era of peace and prosperity but beware those Let's get there. who seek to destroy this city oh my gosh it's a, it's a bad guy cool as a counselor it will be up to you to defend and rebuild please don't tell me we have a minute straight of nothing but artwork and theme i thought we were just gonna go 30 seconds but it looks like they're really jumping the shard here with the whole minute please tell me we can stop at 45 your city and emerge and the reason why i'm saying specific numbers is because it looks like they really strive to get this at two minutes and 30 seconds around about that um so i wonder how surgically precise it is okay looks like we're finally zooming down to the map yes as the greatest let's go din lux has ever seen Hey, there it is. It's a competitive game of strategy Ooh. and politics for Ooh, I want to know more about this. That looks great. As soon as we get away from that theme, I'm in. That looks cool. So we got like some weird um, tray system with plastic inserts. That looks nice. Two to six players. You'll take on the role of a counselor of Din Lux and use your seeker and city work. I'm assuming these are all asymmetric special abilities. I would I would emphasize that a little bit more, but that's that gets me excited. Six different characters. Workers to wield political influence and achieve victory. The game is played over a course of multiple rounds and will end when the final lighthouse is built. Your workers will compete for the best spots around in Lux to gain resources and grow your influence in order to build lighthouses for that's a really interesting system. I like that an awful lot. The lighthouse is all the way at the top. It makes sense. Thematically, it works. Looks good. Great table presence. Threats. Once again, kind of the kind of thing that I would spotlight on that main image instead of your boring generic box and logo. Three times, no less. And upgrade the city 
You'll wield your political influence by voting for rules changing decrees each round. Mm, fun. Shifting the game to suit your strategy. Almost wish we hadn't blurred it out. At the end of the game, each counselor gains three victory points for any every two unspent. And I can't read this one because why would you want me to read it? Each round. Shifting the game to. Yeah, it looks like they intentionally blurred it out. Oh, there it goes. At Sun's Rides, each round this card owner gains a coin. Okay, that's fun stuff. By voting for rules changing decrees each round, shifting the game to suit your strategy or to hinder your opponent. But Multiple rounds, so how many, Kevin says? I wonder if it's, uh, I imagine it's determined by the number of players you have, I'm guessing, especially if it goes two to six. But being a counselor means more than just voting. It is up to you to provide for the city's most basic needs. Fail to meet them and risk the city being overrun by cultists mm. who will block locations cool. and all dangerous threats that loom outside the city's walls. Allow these threats to trigger, and you'll suffer the consequences and risk the cult jumping ahead. If the cult manages to accumulate the highest score, victory will instead go to the conspirator who gathered the most Ooh, points. asymmetric. You mentioned that, right? Uh, you did not, or not asymmetric, uh, semi-cooperative. I'd mention that. Once the last night falls and the victor has been chosen, the components of ah. the Empire Council pass away quickly. Until the next time the Council there is we in go. session. Great ending. Could care less about the beginning, but great ending there. And then again, I'm also not the target market. I don't know what Kinfire is. I, you know, after watching these videos, I don't really have that much interest in learning either. But the game itself looks fun once we got down to it. So uh, do I want it? Yeah, yeah, I do. And I imagine if you're a Kinfire fan, you want it even more. So solid video. Can you do it? Uh, I already know this is an expansion, I think, or something like that. It's another game set in the same universe. So can you do it? Feels good. Also, you've 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 emphasized the fact that Kevin Wilson's working on this. So I know it's probably not going to be a pile of crap. Uh, hopefully you do a better, you do a good job of emphasizing why I should be more excited that it's Kevin Wilson as we progress through the page. But uh, solid start. I don't like knowing how many rounds are left because it gives me false hope. <laughs> Boundless stride into the Denlands canceled. Okay. And then Night Kinfire Chronicles Knights Fall. Interesting. Canceled. Uh, so this one was. So what happened to this one? So 238 backers. Oh, it didn't tell me any days. Let's see. How much, when did they cancel? Were they actually honest? Uh, so it launched the 28th, and then... So they got 17 grand day one, they're like, Nope, we're out, it's not enough! Thanks, Incredible Dream Studios, for making every other small publisher look bad! You suck! Is that blunt? Yes. Is that truthful? I think so. Like, come on, you raised... You literally raised... 80% of your goal on day one. And then you're like, eh, yeah, yeah, you know. Excuse me. It's, it's more than 80. <laughs> People are getting like, eh, we can't do it. Like, there's so many companies out there who would, if you said you're going to have $17,872 at the end of your campaign, they would be over the moon. And you're like, ah, we can't do it now. It's small potatoes. Let's see what your bullcrap excuse was. And I know... I shouldn't be knocking these companies because they're making farts, excuse me, smart financial decisions. But it's still, it makes you look like a joke. It makes all of us look like a joke, all the small publishers. You know, it just makes these numbers look even more fake. It makes me say, yeah, don't emphasize funded in one hour because nobody cares. Because people like you, you ruined it. All right, well, let's see what they had to say. Dear Boundless Stride Community, first and foremost, we want to express our deepest gratitude to each who have supported our journey into the Denlands. We really don't care that you support us. We're still pulling the plug. Your enthusiasm and courage and the positive vibes, blah, blah, blah. We've been anxiously awaiting after launching the campaign. We feel that for a variety of reasons, including timing, we're unlikely to hit our goal for the project. What? What? Wait, what? You launched on November 28th. And then on November 29th, you cancel the project and say, we're not going to do it, guys. We only got 88% on day one. Wow. I really don't like you as a company now. You are on my poop list. All right. Pinata time. Uh, while this isn't the outcome we'd hoped for, we see it as an important step in our journey. 
Since no backers have been blah, 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 crowdfunding is a great means for us to test ideas before making bigger commitments to manufacture and shipping. We're heading back to the drawing board to re-envision this game because the 20 grand we asked for isn't actually the price. Uh, wish you the best left. Can you tell us the real goal number was? It's clearly it wasn't 20K. Hey, Joe, no, we can't. Go get bent. Uh, really excited to see how you re-envision the game and campaign. Well, as you can see by the zero updates in the past six months, they probably weren't we're, we're actually going to do it. To never run a Kickstarter campaign in November or December, which is a very good lesson to learn, I'd add never to try and fulfill in spring if you're manufacturing Chinese. Make sure to know in this project, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you got you got nearly 90% on day one, and you're wondering, like, oh, yeah, no, I have no sympathy. Did they flub the quote from the manufacturer? No. This just looks like one of those dishonest pledge numbers that they knew was full of crap, and then they were just like, oh, yeah, we got to pull it now. I don't understand. The campaign raised over 85% of the goal in less than two days, but now I don't. I know, and the company just wants me to get off this, but I can't. I want to know. I want to see if they got in here. No. Maybe the goal wasn't the real goal. The goal is never the real goal. Yeah, actually, sometimes it is. Canceling this is extremely disappointing. You were going to make your goals. The company is showing extremely bizarre choices from the top down. I feel sad for the designers whose work gets straps in the whims of corporate. Can I have a uh, bat? What was it? Catwoman? Was it, there was like a Batgirl series that was canceled. And you're like, oh, you guys made it. And it's the thing. There's a Wile E. Coyote movie. It feels like that almost. It's like, yeah. If you would have just left this up for like four more hours, it probably would have got funded. Like, there's the other annoying thing, too. Like, you know there had to be some decision in the back. And we're like, oh, we got to pull it. We got to pull it. We got to frantically pull it. We don't want to get funded before we do that. Like, ah, oh, just it's so crappy of you, Incredible Dream Studio. You suck. All right, let's check out your other thing. Make sure people got their stuff. I'm super curious about what the Kinfire Founder gift box is. My pledge includes that. How do I claim that? Let's make sure people got their stuff. It looks like it. I'm pretty sure this is out. Reprint announce. The reprint. Fanning the flames for new adventures. Too hot to candle. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So can you do it? Yeah. I'm not too worried about it, even though as a company, I don't like them particularly. They're in that. Uh, they're, they're in there with a couple other companies where it's just like, no, nope, it's a bad look. A competitive strategy game of fantasy and politics. Uh, Kidfire Council, will you be a selfish politician to be like, why would you even put 20,000 if you're like, eh. Okay. Like, you got so close, too. It's just, what a gut punch. Second printing, Kidfire Chronicles Nightfall, the critically acclaimed sold out adventure is back. So you say it's critically acclaimed, which I do believe. I mentioned that at the beginning. I think this is. Uh, hopefully you give me some, some actual, like, awards or some numbers. 8.6 out of 10. Holy guacamole. That's great. 32.73. That's way more hits than misses. Pledge for anything for a dollar. So we got gameplay. We organized over here, which is nice. Uh, a full learn to play. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Oh, so he's getting someone to teach him. Yeah, there you go, Richard. Richard knows what's up. This is the way. You know, doing how to play videos yourself is for scrubs. <laughs> I figured this out a couple, uh, like a year or so ago. And I'm not saying that it was my idea, but it's it's the way. When you can have the designer of the game teach it, you're off the hook for everything. Oh, they screwed up? Well, too bad. I'll, I'll, I'll leave something in the comments. And plus, for you, it's it's easy views. It's free money. So 26 pages. Um, the rule booklet looks really... Oh, that's because this is not a reprint. This is another game in the same universe. I wonder how close this is to one of their... Uh, like, yeah. Now now it's got me wondering if eventually we are going to see them, you know, reprint that one game that uh, was surely going to fail at 85%, uh, then reskin re it as a Kinfire Council game. Wouldn't surprise me. Tabletopia demo, that's great. Three-tiered elevated city board. So at 60 bucks. Wow, why don't you just tell me the price? The MSRP is 60. This is less than that. Honestly, I put this on the main image. This is way better than your st like your name three times. I don't need to see your name three times here. Why don't you tell me that amazing price that is going to be less than 60 bucks? Granted, I'm sure there's a deluxe version that's going to have me over 60 bucks. But yeah, it looks good. Seeker stands, influence tokens, to cultist bag stuff, things, got it. Great, I'm in. $10 value, speaker's medallion, don't care. Uh, the upgrade kit for 40 so uh, why are we not just giving us prices here? 50 wooden coins, 50 the stuff, the things, the deluxified components, the lore book, ugh. Kinfire Council wins of champ, but once again, I say ugh, but it's an, it, this is a big, this is an IP, so I, I give them, 
I will give them a pass on it. It's not like this is just something they pulled out of their butt. How much is the deluxe? I don't know how much the deluxe is yet because they chose not to put it here. So hopefully we'll get to that eventually. Not have to go over here. Kinfire Council wins the change. It adds co-op and solo modes. Wow, that's huge. Want that. Included in the deluxe tiers and above. What's in the box? So this is what's in that box. Asymmetrical abilities. Cool, I assume. Tiered game board. Easy component storage. Yeah, it's just, it just feels like you're jalopping everything. You're just regurgitating the video on me, and especially putting all this regurgitated crap in front of useful information. Like, what's the price still? Uh, we got a playthrough. Cool. Thoughts, previews. So we got all the videos you could possibly need. It really did feel like being on a city council with a bunch of other overly ambitious people. That quote, I actually really a jig. That's, uh, that's not something I feel like a lot of games give you the feeling of. That one's nice. I'm in love with this concept. Wow, not in love with that quote. I know why they put it there, because I'm sure Gaming Trend is like a fancy website where it's like, oh, look, we're featured on Gaming Trend or something like that. But that's a garbage quote. Cool. I like the idea of the game. You can use that as a quote. Thanks. So the only thing I'm getting, backing this instead of kickstarting, is a coin. I'm a sucker for coins, and I am not sold. Kevin's a sucker for coins. I'm not a sucker for coins, and I'm not sold either. Even though the price is fine. Uh, so here we go. The World of Kenfire, 8.6. Yep. So there's books. Yep, yeah, makes sense. First expedition. Uh, so what is... This is all the other stuff in the universe. Cool. Explore the world. Read season now. Okay, so it is. It's 60 bucks. I thought you said it was $60 MSRP. Ugh. I, don't, I wouldn't have led like that, honestly. I wouldn't even mention the MSRP if you're not even going to give us a discount. In fact, you're going to cost more. Mmm. Don't like that. All right. Yeah, I just put this. I just put 60 bucks as the price. Free bonus special editions, whatever. Don't care. It's a first player token or something. Uh, then we jumped to 99 which gives me a bunch of wood. So $39. No thanks. That's 66% of your game, so I can get some wood for a game I'm not really that convinced on. But it is Kevin Wilson. It's Kevin Wilson. It's Kevin Wilson. I got to remember it's Kevin Wilson. That's all I have to remember. Kevin Wilson. There we go. Descent, Cosmic Encounter, Arkham Horror, Fury of Dracula, Sid Meier's Civilization, Arkham Horror. Yes, it's Kevin Wilson. See, this is what I'm talking about here. I feel like they did a really poor job of spotlighting who Kevin Wilson is. I shouldn't have to do your damn work for you. All you put was, yeah, the original game, which this is not. This is just the same theme had a high rating. Why don't you focus on the fact that Kevin Wilson has 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 11 games in the top 1,100 of all time. He is a spectacular game designer who routinely, look at these, all these in the top 4,000. That's way more hits than misses. Mm. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't feel like we spotlighted Kevin Wilson's pedigree enough and then oh my god 299 is this giving me the i'm assuming this is giving me the base game oh this is just giving you everything fine the founders to your shut up oh it gets you on a worker token that's cool neat let's see how people took it 331 people said your pledge levels suck they just wanted extra stuff on the back end cool it's a pretty high number uh 31 for the base pledge you expect that nobody wants that it doesn't even feel like a great value anymore because i haven't got to the shipping all right, the deluxe bundle at 306, which brings us to they're not breaking Bower's law. That is still roughly nine or ten times to one, so good there. Uh, the friendly local game store, 11. The all in, holy guacamole, 125. Good for them. That's big. And then the 299, all gone. Seven. Why do they limit that to seven, I wonder? Either way, that's a huge chunk of cash. Good for them. Good for them. And the Founders tier, six. Oh, I thought that was a big one. Uh, no, they're both gone. Okay. Cool. Big chunks. Add-ons, you get the game, the second print bundle, so they're doing a second print run. Great. And that explains the 331 in, in the one tier up there. Cool. Eight, and that, honestly, is probably a big chunk of it. Here we go. Here's some awards right here. I put these way higher. At every step, Kinfire... Oh, these are for the original game, though, but still, I put them way higher. At every step, Kinfire does something different and meaningful to play on your expectations. This is a campaign bane that is fun, hits tables quickly, and I think I'll actually finish. So this is weird. You're spotlighting that... Yeah. I just need to keep disassociating this game from the original Kinfire Chronicles, because they're just completely different games. Kinfire Delve, three-game bundle. 
What? Cool? Neat? Kinfire Micro Expansion? Stretch goals. I put this up higher once we get funded. Uh, plastic chits instead of cardboard. Nice. That's nice. Location reference guide. Very nice. So those are great stretch goals. Here for more creators. Uh, so this is a review. Review. There's a vision here with breath that extends beyond the... Mo I'm done with it. Like, I get it. Kevin Wilson's amazing at designing games. I got it. Cool. But I would focus more on how he's divided, like developed a wide breadth of games instead of just Kinfire Council. Especially considering this is a different game entirely. It's not like an expansion. You're not selling me an expansion. Or it's just it's just spin-off. It's like Founders of Gloomhaven. It's not Gloomhaven. It's just, you know, it's in the same universe. Uh, so what do we got? 19 bucks. So we're over at $79. Jiminy Christmas. No thanks. Jumping up to 24 bucks for the deluxe bundle. Just putting me at 123. So I'm essentially paying 63 bucks for that expansion, which is deluxified components and a solo co-op and a coin. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a great price. And the 39, yeah, like the price is, yeah, it doesn't feel good. It feels like at the very, very top end of Kickstarter reasonable. And honestly, I'd say it feels less like that even. It just doesn't feel good. Bunch of people here. It makes sense. There's a lot of polish here. FAQ 23. Oh my god, please tell me you reor you organized it like Reload from Colossal Games. Also, I find it very perplexing that you've been up for, what, a day? Two days? And you have 23 questions? That means maybe you should organize your story a little better? Ew. So if your question's question 22. I hate solo mode not being included in core. Agreed. Agreed. But they want, they want to sell more boxes. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is ugly. This is ugly as dirt. Questions, question 21. You got to read 21 questions. Is there any AI art in this project? Nope. I'd be more likely to back if there was. Step to me. Uh, too long. Funding goal reached since the first goal is unlocked. We're close to the second one. Plus a preview of what's to come and to answer some common questions. Okay, you're talking at me. Imagine there's not going to be much engagement here except for, I'm excited. Good job. Uh, just a suggestion of the first stretch goal. I'd love to see a more sustainable material uses a blob. Whatever, they're not changing it. All right. Uh, comments. Let's get this one a grade. Dude, Malaysia. I'm going there next month. This month. No, next month. Sorry, I'm a bit confused about the $1 pre-campaign. Cool stuff. One more question. According to the first edition, I remember there are more upgrade kits. Not only the question has been asked a lot. Please see the previous comments for answers. So they got a bunch of questions here in the comments, which is good. Which means, A, they could have answered it better in the story, and B, you should organize your FAQ so it doesn't look like a hot pile of garbage. Hey, come on, nobody wants to go through that. Once again, one of those things that Kickstarter should just steal immediately from GameFound, but they don't, and it makes no sense to me. Just make this searchable. Boom, you're done. All right, final grade four, Kinfire Council. Do I want it? Yeah, once we got past talking about Kinfire... Which, you know, I don't know what it is, so I don't have interest in it. Which, is, it makes sense. Uh, and got into the actual components and the lighthouse and how it looks like an interesting, like, take on, like, Just worker placement almost. And, like, there's the, the bad guy who's going to block your spaces and you're competing against him. It looks really fun. It looks like a fun game. Not to mention it's Kevin Wilson, so I'm in for a try no matter what. You put Kelsey, Kevin Wilson's name on a game, I want to play it. So, do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes, you look like a bunch of scrubs for pulling that last project after day one, and I'm going to constantly hammer on you for it because you deserve it. But at the end of the day, this is only their second game, so you can't really knock them too much there. Yeah, you can. That was still really crappy. All right, uh, but yeah, can you do it? I'm not worried about that. Then how much is it? Doesn't seem good. Doesn't seem good, especially considering you know they're probably making a, a decent numbered print run of this one, I would imagine. Yeah, check minus. So you're going to say C plus, B minus, maybe B. Um, for me, you know, there's nothing, like, like, tons of videos. We got the rule booklet. Everything you need in order to make an informed decision on whether or not this is a game for you is here, which is great. You can get the original game, which I imagine a lot of people wanted to do, hence why we have 300, hence why the largest pledge level is, yeah, it's the $1 pledge level, which doesn't bode good for this game. Bodes good for your original game. Final grade, uh, they pulled the game day one at, yeah, 85%, which I'm trying not to let bias into my grade. So we're going to go with a B, minus.
It did. It should have been a B, but it went B minus. Don't tell anybody. That's Kidfire Council. Main image sucks too. So yeah, take that. It's weak. It's so weak too. Why do I need to see your name three times? But as always, if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments below what is your final grade on it. Also, quick show note, there will be no show tomorrow. I'm going to go buy 4,000 pounds of sand. Have a good one. Bye-bye.